Find embrace. I didn't need a shove, cause I just fell in love with your pretty baby face. Mm -hmm. ah, that was good. That was great. Well, I think at first when she started, uh, me and her were singing that song, Baby Face, I was singing along with her, and then she started breathing hard again. She asked me to make up something, so I was just trying to make up something to calm her down so she wouldn't have the baby. In the elevator, just singing the song. Ding dong. I don't like it, don't like it right. When you get fun going, have a good night. Uh oh. Where is the doctor? I don't know. Give me some lyrics so I can show. So the lady how to have a baby, huh? Maybe not me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was real good. <sighs> I might have like a couple more hours. We better get out of here by then. Come on. <sighs> Help! We stuck in the elevator. Hang on, I gotta call the elevator guy. Hurry up! <sighs> Thank heaven. You know they've been looking for us. Heck. Going, where the heck are they? <sighs> yeah! How long you been in there? The whole time since we left you. <sighs> Hurry up, she thinks she might have a baby. <sighs> Hurry up! <laughs> Some help those guys. <laughs> Tell her hurry up. You all right? I'm fine, but she's feeling kind of. Just hurry up. What's... I'm not a doctor. I don't know how to deliver a baby. Should I call a doctor too? Uh, yeah. 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 All right. Cause her her pains are coming quick. All right. Finally, we unstuck the elevator as Cindy Green waits for his teammate. Oh, we're moving. Oh, thank heaven. Oh, thank you. Oh, Dennis, it's yeah. been a pleasure. Baby, baby. There we go. 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 Welcome to the NBA. You oh, been, uh, you just been a victim of pro basketball. Oh, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> In the next segment, we hold audition for our new sports drink, Fill Her Up. And some alcohol. Mmm. What a great drink. Bang! Charles, how many products do you endorse? Oh, just a couple. And how did you get those deals? Oh, my good looks. Yeah, right. What Charles isn't telling you is that usually you have to audition before becoming a spokesperson. Well, we conducted some screen tests of our own for a drink called Filler Up. Here's our buddy Chris, the bartender, with a list of ingredients. Rick and Charles first asked me to start off with a little tomato juice. Then they said, why don't you add a little pineapple juice? And they said, well, add a little cranberry. And then to top it all off, they said, use a little Tabasco sauce. A lot of Tabasco sauce. Mix it up. And then fill her up. Jerry Reynolds, take one. In order to get right, their Jerry true Reynolds first reactions, right we didn't let anybody Jerry taste it until the middle of the test. Jerry does a fine job with his first delivery. Fill her up features fresh flavors from 44 fabulous fruit and flower flavors. It's a mouthful. 
And now Jerry shows us just how bad he wants this deal. It's pretty good. Pretty tasty. Tart. But good. It's a mouthful. Mmm, terrific. <laughs> Oh, this hot great kite, take two. It's a mouthful. It's got some kick. <laughs> Not too. <laughs> Hopefully, it's Great kite, take three. It's great. <laughs> it's <laughs> the take one. It's a mouthful. It's really full of those fruit flavors that really quenches your thirst. Good. Cut. How was it? That's the thing. Yeah. Kind of spice. This stuff stinks, man. You <laughs> the last person to cut drinking this. Ronnie Sykley, take one. Hi, I'm Ronnie Sykley of the Miami Heat. Here to tell you about a new sports drink. Filler Up features flesh flavors from 44 fabulous fruit and flower favorites. It's a mouthful. Mmm. <laughs> <clears throat> you mean you didn't like it? No. Uh, Terry Catledge, take four. It's a mouthful. Man. <laughs> what, man? <laughs> What's wrong, man? What's wrong? What's wrong? None. You like it? No, you like it? Yeah. You don't think that's going to go? You think so? You wouldn't want that after practice? You got a lot of money back there. You take again. Candle Bill, take one. It's a mouthful. Okay, cut, is, cut. This a, is this a joke, man? You don't like it? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Take one. It's a mouthful. <laughs> 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 coach Littles, Charlie Hornets. Hi, I'm Gene Littles, head coach of the Charlotte Hornets, here to tell you about a new fruit drink. Fill her up, favorites. Fresh flavors from 44 fabulous fruit and flower favorites. It's a mouthful. Mmm. What a great drink. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Brian Olive on a blind date. He'll never forget. Oh, God. oh sorry. This is hot here. 
Worst thing ever happened to you as a rookie? Not to trust veterans. That's a terrible thing what you did to Brian Oliver. Yeah, I know, but it was your idea. And it was a damn good idea. <laughs> <laughs> We wondered what would happen if we set up the Sixers number one rookie, Brian Oliver, on a bizarre blind date. You can see from this footage from our rookie talent show that Brian's not exactly shy, but how will he act if he thinks his obnoxious date is my wife, Danielle's beloved cousin, Blaze? We invited Brian to join us for dinner at the San Marco restaurant in a room full of hidden cameras to find out. How are you? I'm Blaze. Brian. This is my wife, Danielle. Hello. Nice to meet you. It's her cousin, Blaze. Forgive me. I'm starving. I'm starving. Okay. Yeah. Can I have another club soda, too, please? Club soda. Mm-hmm. With the lime, please. With the lime? Yeah. Two. Excuse me. Two? Can I have two limes, please? Two limes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Mm. Mm. Um, I would like minestrone. Minestrone. Yeah, does that have beans in it? Of course. Oh. Can you take the beans out of it? It's cooked in the minestrone. The beans are cooked in it. Oh. Well, can you see the beans? Okay, then. You can see them when you take them out, right? Can you take them out for me? You can see them. Just take out the ones you can see. Take them out. Yeah, really, beans give me gas. Please. I'll die. Thank I'll you. Die. I appreciate. I really appreciate it. I'll die. Thank you. I really appreciate it. All right. Can I get you another rock and cranberry? No, let me just have a cranberry, please. I just needed one to settle my nerves. It's been a long day. Oh, it's a long day. Blaze at it again. <laughs> Oh, nobody else is coming. Uh, Charles couldn't make it. So. Charles won't make it? No. Okay. Uh, God, excuse me. Uh, I have a very sensitive system. I see. Like, my food has to, it has to be prepared the right way. Else I get, my stomach gets really upset. I get terrible gas. I can't help it. Very cheesy. I've got that out too. Welcome to the family. <laughs> <laughs> It's getting hot in here. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. It's just hot in here. Yeah. It's not good. I'm, you know, it's all it's all a look, you know, and you, I'm just a very changeable person. It's all a look. <laughs> Nothing, you know. It's just, it's just a look. So now I want to look like this. <laughs> like it? Who's gonna take that off? <laughs> 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 like I just got a cut too in a color. You like that? No. What do you like? Keep your hair. Keep it Maybe you should go to the bathroom. It's time to call it a night. She pulled her hair off. I knew, boy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so who are you? It's <laughs> <laughs> not my cup. I know that. I do that for the show. I do that for the show. Oh, God. Oh, God.
In the second half of our show, you'll see J.R. Reed get bartered. The Hornets, on the other hand, have given up their number one draft pick of last year, J.R. Reed, the former star at North Carolina. Charles and I get outsmarted. <laughs> what not shovel on give and get for fast block driving uh, bucket? George Gervin getting the slip. That's what you see, George Gervin. <laughs> and the Pit Panthers taking a drip. <laughs> Rick, you've been training. What's it like? Charlie, it's like coming home from school and your family moves. <laughs> so you know exactly what GR Reed's going through in his next prank. Yeah, that's what made it so much fun. We went to Charlotte where Hornets point guard Muggsy Bowes played the point man for our practical joke on his buddy JR. Muggsy invited JR over his house for dinner with his wife Kim. JR was sitting back, relaxing, watching some TV when WCCB sports anchor Jerry Valancourt broke in with a special report. The story, a big trade involving yours truly and the Hornets, got JR's undivided attention. Earlier in the day, we had cameras in the bookcase and the fireplace to catch all the action. Hello, everyone. I'm Jerry Valancourt. We interrupt your regular programming for this Sports Talk Sports exclusive. Rumors have been circulating throughout the NBA of some deals that might be taking place. Well, Sports Talk has verified a big one. Rick Mahorn will become a Charlotte Hornet. What? This was learned about 20 minutes ago. But in return, the Hornets will be giving up their number one draft pick from last year from the University of North Carolina, J.R. Reed. That's correct. This rumor has been verified. We have verified it with the front oh, office from Philadelphia as well as Charlotte. J.R. Reed will go to Philadelphia. Rick Mahorn will come to Charlotte. Oh, uh, man, get out of here. here. This has been a sports You call my mom, man. No, that. What? You call my mom. That'll work. What? No! What? Hey, I'm going to go out on a limb here and bet JR doesn't get through. That's because Muggsy had the phone company set up all the lines to ring busy. Oh, man. I don't believe it. No. Mine's busy. He's probably trying to call me. Man, they said something about that, but I didn't think it was going to go through. Hello, everyone. This is Jerry Valancourt with an update on a Sports Talk exclusive. The rumor no longer is a rumor. It is a fact. Rick Mahorn is leaving Philadelphia, and he will become a Charlotte Hornet. Now, what does Philadelphia get in exchange in this trade? They get J.R. Reed, Charlotte's number one draft pick from last year. As always, when there is a trade of this magnitude, you get two different types of reactions from both camps. We had the opportunity to speak with Rick Mahorn at one of our studios in Philadelphia, and he had this reaction when he learned he's coming to the Tar Heel State. You know, I'm really upset. I feel that the Sixers really got a bad trade right now. I feel that when they get JR, he's a talented play player, but he can't hold the line. He can't do the things that I can do. I'm just really disgusted with the whole thing. And what are they going to call him, bump and rump now? You know, things like that really upset me. Who do you think got the best of this trade? I think Charlotte has the best of the trade because I'm going to Charlotte and I'm going to be a proven player. You don't have to really worry about JRE because I don't think he's that tough. You think JR will fit in here in Philadelphia? Only way I think he can fit in is if they put a shoehorn and let him get between the lines or something. Let him get through. But right now, I just really can't you talk about it too much. Thanks. He's pissed off, though, man. But what about Charles Barkley? Take a look at this and see what you think. Oh, I'm just. I can't believe it. it was terrible. It was terrible. You know, Rick is thumping on bump. I thought we were going to be uh, great together for a few more years. Now they're bringing this young kid in. Who, I don't know. Who do you think got the better end of the deal, Charlotte Hornets or the Philadelphia 76ers? Well, I, I think Charlotte probably, you know, got the better end. They're getting an experienced veteran for it, and we're getting a little kid who's not ready yet. All right, Charles, we know you're very upset. Thanks for taking the time out to talk to me. You're welcome. It's a bad, bad trade. Sorry. So there you have it. You're going to cry. Whether or not J.R. Reed can reach his full potential playing in Philadelphia. We will have more details on this Sports Talk exclusive right after this message. Call 976-K now to hear exciting telephone personals from the Charlotte area. See what's described in sales and get there.
Oh, man, we gotta go through this again. What? Muggsy's pretending he has no idea what's going on, and I think he might win an Emmy for his performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just gotta... Oh, it's like Jenny's United States. It's gonna be some more trade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 y